Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk about lower right corner icon. That the other word is control selection, control element selection. In here in the status bar, in those icon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven icon. What did they do in Revit? So I will good. I will gonna explain to you one by one. Before I go into click the one by one, I need to explain in here. This icon, they call it select links. You can select the link file either Revit, Model, Cat Finds, or Point Cloud. In second one, that is select underlay element. And this select underlay element work on plan is not in 3D view. Another one is select paint elements. Another one, select element by face. You can select by face or you can select the boundary. Is it two title selection in the rebate? I will go, I will gonna explain to you later. Another one, drag drag elements on selection. That one is a little bit confusing. I will gonna explain to you. It's very simple way. I will I will broke your confusion. I will I will I will show you later. And another one, the background process. What is a background process? They are working on the color scheme, density modeling, a density modeling background process, volume calculation for pipe system and flow and pressure, draw calculation for closed loop hydronic pipe networks. Another is mechanic assistant analysis so we are not going to do in this i just explained to you what is the mean or what is the meaning is a background process okay the last one this is a bonus for you that the slushing this is on the ribbon bar where you notice in the on the ribbon bar you always seen the slushing to here so let's go into the ribbon model I was gonna use a 2024 architectural sample project. This is the 2024 version. So I will go to the 3D view. So first of all, in the default is a cross sign on the select link. So I will allow to select the link. So I will is click on here. You look at the box. You see that magenta color here is a selection box. So you are, you you are, you are able to see the naming in here. Look over this. A VT link, link ribbon model, snow down. So that is a link model you can even select. If you uncheck, is it uncheck me? You have to cross this sign, the icon here. You are not able to select the link here. So those are the link, but you are not able to select the link. So if you want to select the link here. You just click cr uh, uh, the cross, so you can select the link here. Another one, if you want to select the link here, the, uh, if you select the link, the whole element is selected. If you want to select individual element, so that is this very simple one. You can have a look to the keyboard. It's a tab bar. In the tab bar, if you want to select this or water element in only one element, you just select. You just press the tab bar in your on the keyboard so you already selected this you are able to see to put solid water here so this is a 2024 they are they are already agreed that to made it this a water surface look like real estate the ground is something like this so we will find out what how did they do for this guy so in the next tutorial video so, so you understand about the individual selection into the link file. You just cover over it, then you press the tab bar, and then tap another one. You can even select this element. If you want to copy it, you can paste in this model. This is easy. You look about this here, under modify, under the modify ribbon, and you look here the clipboard, clipboard. And this is a copy. You can press a Control C or Control Insert. Then you can copy this. You can paste in anyone you wanted to. You want to align to 
same place. So I hope you get this. Then another one. I will just tap another one. Okay, this is the link more. I want to slash in this individual more. Individual element. You see that? I just press the tap bar on the keyboard so you can copy paste into the, your project. In current project. This is a current project. Okay, let's find out another one. Is this it is slash underlay element? Where should we go? I I already told you that is not working on in 3D view, it's only working in plan view. Then where is the underlay element controlled? And you look at on the property box here, you just going down, scroll down here, underlay. You look at this range base base level. This is none. If you are selected to the parking, this is a level one, is a lower level, is a parking level. So you just select it. You can even to see the element this look like this. You can even select this element. But you are not you are not able to select this because you haven't unchecked the cross sign here. You look at this. This is your this means you are not able to select the underlay element if you click cross sign you can even select this element underlay element below from level one this is the underlay element then you uncheck it you are not even to select you can even see because of your your property allow you to see the lower level if you click none this element will be gone you look at this okay okay let's go to another one in pin this is a cross here it is a cross sign here if you pin the element in any element into the project if you are this one is without the cross sign you are able to select the, the pin element usually we are only use the pin on the grid line so the grid line it cannot be moved because it's already set up for the project so this is the most important thing is you make sure you have to Pin here. This pin is going to modify another modify ribbon. Going to here, find out here. It's a pin. If you pin it, you are look at this. This is a pin icon. This is a pin icon. If you want to unpin, you just click here or you want to okay. You want to go unpin here. Okay, now we are using pin here. If you already pin here, you are able to select this icon. You look at this. I cannot cover over this because of this is the, the explanation is coming up so okay look over this and here is allow you to select this uh, pin element if I click cross sign to pin you cannot even to select this icon you can select window selection or cross section but it doesn't allow you to select the element this is for you to save uh, for you to say to move as incidentally anywhere so just all the way pin to the grid line okay I hope you understand about this if you pin okay I was going to explain another element ah this element already pin here okay if I enter this this one is I cannot even to select this element Maybe this is underlay. Oh, this is a link file. Okay, so I will uncheck on here. We will link because of this is using by this a template. So this is not part of our true here. I will going to skip up about this. Okay, I will not going to skip about it. I will explain to you right now. If I click this, make it none. And I will uncheck all the review link here. And originally, I cannot even do select the pin, uh, the slash, uh, the selection link, select link here. Now this is gone. Okay. For example, this is a sticky. I will pin this element. But in here, if you cross to the pin, it is cross me. 
it's not your dude doesn't have the permission to select the pin element look at this if I cross an element or any any element you are not even to select this okay I hope you get it this so after this another one is this select element by face so right now is a cross sign you are not even to select if I just made it I made it the permission to the select by face I will go into the 3d view I will off all the lane in here I just wanted to see this a project only you look at this I just let this wall you just cover over it don't click anything you will see this wall basic wall foundation 24 inches concrete R3 that is a the, the family name system family name so if you cross the sign we are not allowed to the slab by fit look at this you can click thousand of time on face or the element you are not even to slab but one thing you can go into the corner of the element just like this you can even to slab the corner so you you are you stay even to slab the element without the face but in the corner in the edge of the element you can slab this element if you are got the permission to slot by face without cross you will even do you just cover over it the selection is magenta color is coming up you can even to select this element the another one okay this is a little bit confusion and I explained to you in earlier this one you get the permission from the drug element on selection I will go back to uh, I will just give it here working on the 3d view you just let the element you were able to see the icon you look at this there's no the arrow selection now you change to the drug icon after selection this is after selection you can even to move this without the pin you can even to move this object okay you stay you are not get the permission of this when you still have the permission that at the same time you press it become the drop element you don't need to select one first then I'm going to drop it automatically work on the rebate so this one you have the permission to the drug element to move anywhere to drop drug element selection to uh, uh, someone else you want it to move just like this if you doesn't have the permission you just cross the drop element just like that, you press it, become the selection, become the selection box here. How many times you wanted to just it, you drop it? He doesn't move. He doesn't move to anywhere. Become the selection box. If you have the permission of this, you make the cross eye. At the same time, you press it, become this uh, element. It move you wherever you wanted to just like this and another one is you can you didn't have the permission to the draw element on the selection but you select the element first then cover over it become the drop element is you can move this is a different thing do not compute about the permission or not permission to the draw element on selection this is the uh, after selection become the drug this is a uh, uh, automatically word on the rebate that is a system work they do not confuse about this sometimes you are just you are not aware that you just let it then you cover over it then you want to move then after that you you go and see it in the step but hey hey what is going on because I, I already I already closed the, the drug element on the selection why this element is move the reason is after selection you, you become the drug element you just accidentally move if you want to save the object to move anywhere else make sure you have to put the pin here that is a safe yard for you the pin is across here you are not able to select this element if you are if you get the permission to the uh, select pin element you can even to select but no move anywhere this is a pin is already fit in the place that he not going anywhere 
Okay, another one is loading. This is a project, a background project. I explained to you that it is working for the color scheme, detail, color scheming, details, steel modeling, uh, modeling, see details, steel modeling, background project, volume calculation, flow and pressure, or mechanical system. We are not working out here. So you just leave it out, leave it this. In part of this, the filter here. In here, this is a filter is zero. The reason is zero. You are able to see in the modifying doesn't have any of this. If you are just slap, okay, it's too much. It's too much. I just slap over this guy. Look over this. You will select that the element 62 object in this window. The object 62 you have been selected in this model. So that is why they're showing you in in another way in here. You are selected multiple selection here that the future you click over this because those elements you are selected on the window or if you are going to click over this guy you just click this it's a coming this same thing you are able to see in here it's just like that okay one two three four five six seven exact background project so the rest already explained to you i hope you you learn it so i will go back to another one is a modifying a selection this is a bonus for you this is a down arrow in here if you select the down arrow to look over this select link in here is a cross sign that is the reason and check the select link here the cross sign select underlay element in here uncheck select underlay element select pin element if you are unchecked if you are checking this this is the cross sign is gone if you are check the select element this one cross sign is gone so if you can even to forget this lower right corner in the state bar if you are familiar to if you are most expert to make it here you can go into working on this is a window but you can even to select in here sometimes you can go to the lower right corner check and chat without the cross sign and you are able to control this okay if i go into and check this and check and check or is uncheck then become all the cross sign here that is that is why they call it on the ribbon and the modifying to click select to expand to the down menu here this is the modify element modify icon here if you are check check them all then there's no cross sign in here anymore i hope you got it this bye bye